Hi everyone, how you doing today? I hope that you're having a great day and that you had a great week since we last talked. Um, for it, just to remind you, for the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about SMART goals, and this will be the third talk about it and our last talk for now. So for the first week, we talked about what a SMART goal is. S stands for specific. M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable, R stands for realistic, and T stands for time bound. And if you want to know more details about that, then go back a couple weeks in the videos and you'll be able to see all of those defined and what they mean and an example of a goal and how it fits in with it. And then last week we talked about how do you stick with your SMART goal. So now that you have, if you have a SMART goal, how do you actually stick with it and make sure you follow through and achieve your goal? So you can watch last week's video to see all about that one. And I also have a link to the blog post in the video description so that if you want to know, read more about it, you can go there also. So this week we are talking about that it's okay to change your SMART goal and also how to get started. Hi, Nicole, thanks for joining, it's nice to see you. So for your SMART goal, it's okay to change your SMART goal. So last week we talked about how it's good to check in every week or so, and especially every month, to check in with yourself and see how you're doing with your SMART goal. So once you check in, after about a month and if you see that things aren't working that's okay don't panic don't drop your goal don't just give up we can work around it so what you can do you know sometimes unexpected things in life happen and interfere with our goals or maybe and just to remind you i have to look at my other computer screen that's why i'm turning away sometimes and or maybe that the goal that you set seemed reasonable at the time, and you thought, oh, I can do this for sure. But then once you got into it and started to try and do it, you found out, well, that's not quite gonna work. So that's okay. So maybe that you need to adjust it a little bit. In the article that I've been talking about, the magazine article that I read about SMART goals, in the article it says, make the goal fit into your life in a more reasonable way. So maybe that's all you need to do. Maybe you just need to adjust the goal a little bit. Maybe you see, ah, oh, it's not quite working, but I'm not totally giving up on it. I just need to adjust it a little bit to make it work with my life. And also, the great thing is, is that you can look back and see, and I'm sure you've accomplished something. It may not be exactly what you wanted to do, but look back and see what you've accomplished and be proud that you've actually done something. And that will be a huge motivation and encouragement to keep going. Even if you have to adjust your goal, you can still say, well, that's okay. I did something. It's better than nothing. And I'm going to move forward and just adjust it a little bit. The article also says, um, you may have started here, and this is a quote, and you may not have reached that specific goal because you now realize it was unrealistic. But see what you have achieved and you learn from your experience and use it to move forward so you can succeed. I love that quote, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanna do. So now that you know what a SMART goal is and you know how to stick with it and you know that it's okay to change it, how do you get started? So what you do is you, need obviously you need to set a smart goal that's the first step to get started you need to set your smart goal and you can look back either at the previous videos or the blog post that i have on here and you can look at what a smart goal is and make your smart goal and don't forget make sure you write it down that's very important to write it down so you can actually see it and be reminded of it and maybe even put it somewhere that you see every day, your mirror, wherever you look every day, put it there so that you'll be reminded about what you want to accomplish. And then check in with yourself or your accountability partner and um, check in with them and yourself every week, every month and see how you're doing. 
modify your goal if needed. Remember, you can change your goal. We just talked about that. If you need to modify it and change it, that's okay. And then look back at what you've accomplished and be proud. Be so proud of what you've done. And I would love it that if you end up making a SMART goal, let me know. Come back and let us know. Leave it, leave it in the comments. Let us know what you're doing. We would love to encourage you and celebrate you and help you on. And remember, if you don't have an accountability partner and you need one, please let me know. I would love to encourage you and help you and walk through you, walk through with you as you try to this new healthy living journey and you want to get this SMART goal done. I'd love to be there to help you and support you and give you any tips you need, anything you need. I'd love to help you through. Also, if you have any questions or anything, if this wasn't detailed enough, if you don't quite understand how to do it yet, or if you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments and I will be sure and answer them. So I hope you've got an idea now and that when you start thinking about your New Year's resolutions, or even any time, if, if you watch this at a time that isn't now near your New Year's resolutions, anytime you're ready to start your SMART goal, I hope you have enough information now to get started. But like I said, if you don't, just let me know and I will be happy to answer any questions for you. And I am really happy to be your accountability partner and help you through. So I'd love to see you all succeed and in your healthy living journey. All right, as always, if you need anything else, let me know. And I won't be on here for a couple weeks because next year will, next year, next week will be Christmas. And the week after that will be New Year's. So I will see you all in a couple weeks. I'll still be in the group. I just won't go on live because everybody will be home in my house. So there will be too many people around and it would be too hard to go live. But I will definitely still be in the group. And if you need anything, let me know. And I hope you have a great Christmas and a happy New Year's. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching, Nicole. Bye.